家好，我是苏西。我是今天我们带大家去故事城堡，故事城堡里有许多好听的故事，而且还有好多好玩的玩具。让我们一起出发吧！My friends, today I'm going to read this,、uh, those books for you. And now let's get started. Pinkalicious story time. Pinkalicious story time. We were at the book fair, waiting, waiting in the line. I'm going to meet my hero, Princess Plum. I have all her book, all of her books. Princess Plum is kind. And、she is smart. She wears a sparkly purple tiara. Tiara, I love her stories. I hope she signs my book. I told mummy. Mummy, I couldn't believe I was going to meet a real princess at, at last. But when we got to the front of the line, I was very surprised. Instead of a princess, I saw a man. Man, there. Is Princess Plum a man? I said. I'm a size silver. The man laughed. I'm the other of a Princess Plum. That means I write some. I write. That means I write book about her. 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 But how can you write about being magic princess if you aren't one? I asked. When you are not an other. You can tell all sorts of stories," said Miss Mr. Silver. "Princess Plum is a character I made up. Stories can be be about anyone or or anything you want. Just use your imagination." That afternoon, I could I couldn't stop thinking what Mr. Silver had said. So I said, I decided to give a try. I imagined I could fly and and wrote about soaring around Pink Rival. Rival. In my story, I made clouds into cotton candy. Cotton candy. After that, I wrote a tea party with dancing spoons and cups. I wrote about a garden growing under my bed. I wrote a fa- about a family of pirates that lives inside the washing machine. Machine. I couldn't stop writing. At dinner time, I wrote about a broccoli ju- jungle and sweet potato mountains. Mountains. After bedtime, I wrote about、uh, about a, a pair of bunny slippers hopping all over the house. House at school, at school Monday, I came up with more ideas. I then I wrote them all. I was too busy to listen my teacher, Mrs. Penny. I was writing about Pink Panda when Mrs. Penny tapped my shoulder. Pink delicious, she said. What are you doing? Doing. I gulped. I told Mrs. Penny everything about meeting the other side silver and writing stories all day long. I'm sorry for not paying attention. I said. Well, said Mrs. Penny, paying attention is very important. But be but so is being creativity. I think I have an idea. Listen, everybody, said Mrs. Penny. This week you are going to. Uh, you are go- all going to be others. Others, you will have special writing time so you can work on your stories. And Friday, we will have our our own book books, our own class books festivals. At recess, we talked about our ideas. I I'm writing a penguin named. Percy said, "Mommy, I'm writing about the family of giants who live in the rainforest." Said Ro- Rose. Rose, Allison was the biggest surprise. It didn't have any words. It was making a comic book story with only pictures. 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 I wrote. I worked worked hard all week. 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 I finished the story about flying through the cotton candy clouds. Clouds. 
I drew the cover and add the page, pages, and pages, and add in, uh, add in about the other page. Page Pink Delicious is from Pink Available Online. Right? She loves writing, baking cupcakes, and do anything pink. Pink. On Friday, we read our stories loud. Wow, we signed our books. It was so much fun. Fun. Before I went home, I told Mrs. Penny I had a last thing to write. Write. Dear Mrs. Silver, you may not be a princess who, who grants wishes, but your books are full of magic. Thank you for helping me see that I am a writer too. Sign off, Pink Delicious. Pink Delicious Cherry Blossom. Pink Delicious Cherry Blossom. I woke up early and I couldn't believe my nose. I could smell it. I could feel it. It sprinkles in the air. This this could mean only one thing. It, it is time for the Cherry Blossom Festival. I asked. I asked tomorrow. Mommy said. I couldn't wait. I love seeing the trees are in full blossom, in full bloom. It was the pinkest day of the year. Year. I'm going to fly a kite at the festival this year. I said. Do you know how to fly a kite? Said Peter. I shrugged. Shrugged. I could try. Try. But I practice. All day, but I had no luck at all. Oh, my cherry blossom cart off the ground. Keep trying, Mommy said. Practice makes perfect. Next day, we skipped all the way to the festival. The cherry blossom were more pink elastic than ever. I picked out a spot to fill my cart. Here you go, I said. I start to run. Run. It was, there was a big gust of wind. That's it, I yelled. We need more wind, more. The breeze got something stronger. The cherry blossom soared around me. Me, wait, I said, I can't see. The wind stopped blowing. The paddles stopped throwing. I rubbed my eyes and blinked. I looked so different. Where, where, where was I? Hello, said a girl. My name is Sarka. I am Pink Delicious, I said. Come on, said Sarah. The festival is starting soon. Can you hand, hand me those la these ladders? Sarah picked the la Sarka picked the ladder with a cherry blossom on it. This one is like my name, she said. Like my name. This one is like my name, she said. Mm -mm. Sarka means cherry blossom. In Japanese, I picked up a bright pink ladder. This one makes me, makes me think of my name too. I laughed. Soon a parade went by. By there were drums, there were dancers, there were colors everywhere. Try some monkey, says Sarka. She gave me a pink rice cake. Pink rice cake. Rice cake filled with strawberry ice cream. I couldn't believe it. The mochi was almost yummy as a cupcake. 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 I looked at the sky and spotted kites around. I got a little sad. I wish I knew how to fly, how to fly one. Saka understood. Sometimes a friend can help, she said. So she picked up my kite. I held a string. String. We ran together. There was a gust of wind. When Saka looked, uh, let the go of the kite, she went up in the air. It went up in the air. Keep running, she called. My legs went faster and faster. Suddenly, I was surround. I was surrounded by a swirl of petals. Of petals. I was back in pink and pink level. My kite was still flying. It was soaring high. Hi, pink delicious, you did it. Mummy and Daddy cheered. Peter looked surprised. Surprised? How did you get so good at this? He asked. As I looked at my kite, 
smiled. I got some help from a friend. I said, thank you, Santa, and whispered. We finished all the books. I will see you next time. Bye. 好了，小朋友，今天的故事就讲到这里了。大家要是有好听的故事或者是好玩的玩具，记得写信给 Susie 和 Lucy 哦，我们会在第一时间分享给每一个小朋友的。大家如果喜欢我们的节目，记得点击下方的订阅哦。Susie 和 Lucy 在这里。